In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make closed captions for YouTube that support positioning, color, backgrounds, etc. Simply what we are doing is we are creating styled captions for YouTube. Now, I have a sample here of what I've created just for demonstration purposes. So if I play this video, in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'll show you how to take high quality screenshots or screen grabs in three simple clicks. Now, place your playhead. As you can see, we have the subtitles beginning at the top, at the middle, then down here with a different color, and they do have a background. If I undo the CC and go back to the start, in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'll show you how to take high quality screenshot. Now, you'll appreciate that these are not open captions that are usually burned into the video, but closed captions. So, uh, let me show you how I did that. Now, we'll go to this one tool here called YT Sub Converter, and it's a tool for creating styled YouTube subtitles. Now, it's a really awesome tool uh, and this is what you can do with it. You can create a ton of things with it and what it does is that the YouTube's inbuilt subtitle editor doesn't support styling of any kind. If you want uh, formatting such as bold, italic and coloring, you need to upload a subtitle file instead. The site accepts a number of file formats such as real text, web VTT and TTML, but all of these come with their own limitations and most importantly, none of them give access to the full array of features offered by the YouTube player. For that, you need to use a YouTube specific format called SRV3, also referred to as YTT for YouTube time text. It supports the following, bold, italic, underline, text coloring, transparency, background coloring, transparency, etc., outlines, glows, drop shadows, fonts and font sizes, positioning, place your subtitles anywhere on the video, karaoke timing, make the syllables of a song, lyric appear as they are sung, vertical text, Ruby text. Now, YT Sub Converter can produce this file format for you. So the current version is 1.63 and it's available for Windows, Mac, Mac OS, Linux, and the Linux version requires mono. I don't know what mono is, but if you use Linux, then you know what it means. Now. This is what simply does. It converts a .ass or advanced uh, substation alpha subtitle file to YTT. Now, you can use IGSub and it's right here. Uh, you can get the release uh, somewhere about here and I will leave all the links below. Uh, but I will not be using uh, IGSub for this. I'm going to be using subtitle edit. So this is what I'm going to be using and I already have it available here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just go to the YouTube uh, video subtitle selection here for this particular video we just watched and I'm going to remove this particular subtitle with the styling. So yes, uh, it's already gone. There are no subtitles for that. So next up, let's go back to subtitle edit. I want to open that particular video and then Add the subtitles for this. Open. So these are just normal SRT subtitles. There's nothing uh, I've done to this. Now, the first thing I'll need to do is convert these to ASS. So advanced substation alpha, click on that. It's going to change that and you're going to get all the properties for ASS subtitles. Now, I like to select all subtitles at once and then click on advanced substation alpha styles so that I can make some few edits here. Uh, I can just bring this to like 50. And once I do that, if I click on apply, uh, it's going to be a little bit smaller. That looks good. And then because I want a background, I'm going to go with opaque box like that. Click on apply. We have an opaque box there and then click on OK. So that is the first step. I have uh, the base of my uh, kind of uh, ASSA subtitles uh, right here. Next up, let's assume we want this to be somewhere at the top. So I'm going to just right click on this, click on alignment, and then click on top center. Once I do that, it's going to go up. And then you can say, uh, let's say maybe these two, also alignment, top center, and then let's assume you want them to have a color. Let's say color yellow something like that, click OK. So when you look at this, they're up there, 
and they have a different color. Now, the reason why you may need to uh, change positioning is maybe there's some text down here and you don't want to have it obscured. That's why you've assumed or decided to go with the positioning at the top. Uh, next up, we can come here and maybe say we choose another color. Let's say something like, I'm not sure, something like this. That looks good. That is what our subtitles are going to look like right about there. Now, let's assume you're done. And all we need to do is just go to file, save us. And then we're going to, uh, to add maybe something else. Click on save. Now, our ASSA subtitle is ready for us to now convert uh, into YTT. That is ready for YouTube. So I'll just double click on this particular small program called YTT sub YT Subconverter that I downloaded from right here. The releases are about here. Let's click on that. And you can find uh, whatever uh, you want for Windows is this one, for Mac it's this one, for Linux is this one. So let's go back and just double click on this. And the subtitle that we want is the, the new one here because I have the one uh, from the sample initially. So all I need to do is just drag it right there and then click on style options just to see uh, what uh, sample it's giving me. And because I'm satisfied, just click on convert. So you'll see a new file here uh, that comes in. If you close this, uh, you'll see this particular file here. How to quickly take high quality screenshots in DaVinci Resolve in three simple clicks, dash new dot YTT. Now let's go back to YouTube and uh, let's, uh, let's begin kind of something like, let's say details, let's go back to subtitles and then click on add language. We want to add an English subtitle, click on English. And then from here, just click on add under the subtitle column here. Click on add and we want to upload a file and the upload or the subtitle has timing. Click on continue and then navigate to that particular file from that folder. I know it's this one because I can already see the name. Click on it and then click on open. You'll get this particular notification. This transcript may contain additional formatting that can get lost if overwritten. That's okay. Let's click on publish. And uh, there it is. So what we're going to do now is just view on YouTube. In the Let's pause a little bit and then enable the specific subtitle that we want because we have the auto generated and the English one. Click on this and you can already see it begins at the top. So let's play. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'll show you how to take high quality screenshots or screen grabs in three simple clicks. Now, place your playhead where you want to take your screenshot. Let's assume we want this particular screenshot and then navigate to file and then export and then click on current frame as still. Click on that and then you can rename it the way you want and also change the save type to whatever you want. I'll now, it's easy to appreciate that what I've done in subtitle edit uh, right here, including the color, the positioning is something that we can appreciate on YouTube. You don't need to ban in the subtitles but you can create them like this. It's super simple, super easy. It's just that it needs you to use a ton of applications. And hopefully uh, uh, the guy called Nicolaj that created Subtitle Edit can kind of incorporate this particular package because I believe these are released. Uh, should, be, should be something that can be used uh, and it's done in C. And I do believe Subtitle Edit is also in C, yeah. Uh, hopefully this is something that can be incorporated for us to get this particular subtitle format, the YouTube specific format called SRV YTT uh, YouTube time text, instead of having to move from one software to the other, hopefully someday we'll have that particular format available right about here. But simply put, that is how you can create closed captions for YouTube that support positioning, color, backgrounds, ATC, super simple using uh, maybe your subtitle editing software of choice, either edge sub or subtitle edit, and then convert the ASS subtitle that you get uh, using the YT sub converter into a .YTT file 
with already the positions that you have for ASSA. Uh, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it's of value to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.